Good afternoon. My name is Mimi Mutoni, and I work at African Leadership University. I lead the Student Life Department, which works with students to develop a culture and to make sure that our students are prepared for the world after our graduation. I came back to Rwanda in 2016, and I was looking for an organization that not only fit my passion and my career goals, but was working to develop Rwanda and the next generation of leaders. African Leadership University opened in 2017, September, and it fit my criteria exactly. Who is AOU? What is AOU? African Leadership University is a young institution that believes in developing and educating the next generation of Africa's leaders. Currently, we house 550 students, representing over 35 nations in Africa. We're an institution that believes in diversity. We're an institution that believes in our students taking ownership of their own journey. And we're an institution that believes in hard work. This is evidenced by a number of our students who are taking a look around the community and not only trying to enter the solutions that are exi already existing, but are crafting the solutions themselves. One of our students, Jules, took a look around his community, his student body, and realized that a lot of his peers were struggling to find food and refreshments at an affordable price that was accessible. So Jules banded together with his friends and created Scholar's Coffee. Scholar's Coffee is a coffee shop that operates on campus and serves a lot of our students and is able to provide a meal or two to people who would otherwise not have been able to afford that. Some students go beyond the, their immediate community. Students like Kelvin, who looked around and understood that countries and the different continents around the world are struggling with climate change, struggling with deforestation. So him and his friends came up with a solution, a venture called Umuti. Umuti takes banana and plantain trunks and turns their pulp into paper, solving for the, solu the problem of deforestation, of climate change, of making sure that we are taking care of our, our environment. Kelvin is one of our students who's doing so well, but there are other students who look beyond the community and the environment and actually go globally. Students like Samuel, who realized that irrigation was a problem for farmers. Did you know that over 43% of Africa's landmass is arid? and that over 50% of Africa's population lives in arid or semi-arid land. Samuel and his friends noticed this problem, realized that farmers were unable to water their acres of land to yield sustainable crop so that they can survive. So Samuel and his friends created a solution. They have a stationary bike that farmers go to and they pedal. The energy, in the, the energy from the pedaling pumps water into their farms and irrigates their lands. It is students like Samuel, like Jules, like Kelvin, who ALU believes will change the world. ALU believes that fostering entrepreneurial thinking, where students understand that they are the solution to the problems that they face in their community. Rwanda has always believed that the solution to our problems lies within us. ALU understands that Rwanda and the rest of Africa no longer has the luxury of looking outside for the answers to their problems. So ALU works hard, encourages our students to take each challenge head on and find the answers. <laughs>